Hi Sakshi, how are you doing? And a huge congratulations for finishing second at the national championship. Thank you so much. I'm doing great. And uh, Sakshi, you performed amazingly well. Here's your uh, scorecard. You scored seven out of nine with just one loss against Divya, but you managed to beat Nandida P V. Mary Ann Gomes, Bhakti Kulkarni, Arpita Mukherjee. So, so many strong players. Would you say this was one of your finest performances till date? Yeah. Yeah, it was one of the best. Yeah. Uh, and I am seeing you in action after quite some time. There was a lockdown. I think, was this your first event after that? No, like I played in Armenia. And then after that, I also played Sidges and Lorca. Okay. And then this one. Okay. And uh, could you tell us a bit about where are you from, where do you live and what uh, do you do uh, a- academically as well? Yeah, I am from Aurangabad, Maharashtra hmm. and uh, acad- academically I am doing, uh, I am pursuing BA uh, in public administration. Okay. Now, right now I am in final year. Wow, amazing. And uh, who's your coach? Yeah, my dad is my coach. He has helped me a lot to improve my game. Is your dad, uh, your dad has been your coach right since a very young age, right? And he's still teaching you? Yeah, like, uh, mo- like he has been my main coach since uh, I was young. Like I started with him and since then he has been my main coach. Other than that, I have also worked with some other coaches as well. Hmm. And uh, apart from that, uh, right now I have started to do also on my own. And also I work with some of my friends. Amazing. You gained 56 ELO points. Your rating was 2205. So now you will be crossing 2260. Is this the highest ELO that you have ever been at? I have reached 2279 before. And like my live rating has been 2298.8 or something. Wow. (laughs) So like if I would have crossed 2300, I would have got the WGM title right now. Hmm. But I think I'll take it as an extra motivation that I should improve more and... So you already have the norms, all the norms? Yeah, I have all the three norms now. Fantastic. Amazing. So you just need to reach 2300. Uh, We'll ask you where you're playing next and all of that. But first, shall we have a look at one of your best games from this tournament? It was against Marianne Gomes. Why would you choose this as your best game? I would say like, uh, I like that King Walk. Like, generally, it's not uh, very... Like, it's rare, no? kind of. Sure. <laughs> like, uh, with the queens on the board, you get to get, like, bring the king very rarely in the center. Okay, let's yeah. have a look at this game without revealing anything further. And uh, Sakshi, if there's some interesting moment, uh, you can always ask the viewers to guess. We are not uh, doing this live, but whenever people are watching it later, they can pause the video and think about the move and so on. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, you opened the game with d4. If I am not mistaken, you are a very strong positional player. Isn't it true? Yeah, I like positional. Like, now I am trying to be a universal player. Like, I want to be a universal player. But yeah, I like positional. (laughs) Right, yeah. Uh, Knight f6, c4, e6. And Mary is a very uh, strong player. She is also quite aggressive. Very strong tactically. Uh, yeah. Knight f3, bishop b4, you played bishop d2, she played queen e7, the Bogo Indian, g3 takes, queen takes, b6. Uh, was this all part of prep or? Uh, I think she hadn't played b6, like uh, mainly she was like trying to go for this knight c6 castle d5 uh, positions. Hmm. And then also rook d8, d c4. Like in that, I had prepared some setups with b3, queen b2. So right. like d c4, b c4, I get the center. So mm-hmm. I had prepared that. Okay. Yeah. So she went so b6. b6 was kind of new. Yeah. So you took like 2 minutes, 44 seconds. Then you played bishop g2. And then mm-hmm. castles, castles, knight to c3, all very standard. d6, queen to c2, <clears throat> knight bd7. Yeah, Queen c2 is basically like I wanted to prevent knight e4 like at any point. And right. I am also preparing e4 next. Yes. 
but you didn't go instantly because I guess you didn't like e4. Maybe she would go e5. Yeah, like actually, I should have. Uh, I could have done that. But uh, I don't know. I just thought that let me prepare it anyways. Uh, like it is going to come after that. Okay. And you played rook a d one. Uh, hmm. Any particular reason? Because this is a very confusing thing. Yeah, put the rook here or put this rook here and this one on c one. Yeah, because I think the play is in the center and uh, like the same game I had also played against her. Uh, like she had played d six before this. Mm. So in that also I had played, so I had pushed d5 early. Mm. So in this kind of uh, position, ah, this you... kind of structure, no? okay. like with white. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. So, but uh, the correct placement is like rook d1, rook f1, and we should wait. We should not push d5 early. Like mm. her bishop was on c8, like she had developed by this side. Okay. So I shouldn't go for uh, like d5 early. So yeah, that's the point because now the play is in the center. Mm. So you need the rooks on d1 and e1. Also the queen is on e7. Hmm. So it is always better to be opposing that. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So here, because the queen is on e7, a rook on e1 would make a lot of sense. So rook a d1, a5, rook f e1, rook f e8. This is what I meant. Yeah? Uh, a direct player would have gone e4 straight, but you are preparing everything very calmly, waiting for the right <laughs> moment to strike. <clears throat> hmm. Rook a b8 and then yeah, also this b3 move was like uh, like I just thought you know in case I should just protect the c4 <laughs> in case it gets attacked like let me just prepare everything properly right and uh, she went rook b8 and she wanted to keep her b7 bishop protected maybe some knight g5 tricks yeah also the thing is that after b3 if she goes for e5 mm -hmm. instead of rook a b8 then I have knight e5 ah Yes, a very that typical trick. trick because now if bishop g2, then you have knight d7, right? Intermediate. Yeah. Right. So she went uh, first rook b8, you went e4, she went e5. And now <clears throat> here, were you tempted to push d5 or? No, like I had done that mistake before. Huh. <laughs> so I learned my lesson. Like against her only, it was the same kind of structure, like I told. So yeah. D5, maybe it is good here because the bishop is on b7, hmm. but knight d5 is way better, I think. Beautiful. Yeah, this is a great move. She took and now I think uh, is an interesting moment because, okay, clearly cd5 puts pressure on c7, but ed5 also has its trumps, right? Because you are putting pressure on the e5. Yeah. So how did you decide? Yeah, like I thought that... Uh, I don't know. It, it came naturally. Like C D five, then the C seven pawn is also backward, mm, and mm. the bishop is also like completely like it's not doing much, and I can just double on the C file. So I thought that would be better. Got it. Okay. So G six, and I think she set up a very deadly trap. Let me ask the viewers: If Queen takes C seven, what is it that Black had prepared here? Why should uh, Sakshi not take this pawn? Yeah, Sakshi, what, what's the move here? Yeah, just rookie c8 and the and queen is trapped. Queen is trapped. So you can't take it for now. So you went mm -hmm. queen c3. Yeah, queen c3, the idea is simply to put pressure on e5. And next I can also go bishop h3 and you know just threaten to win the e5 pawn. Got it. And you want to force her to take so that you have a, uh, you can take with the knight. And then you have a central pawn majority. Yeah. Okay. So she went rook c8. You took. Uh, what? Any reason why you didn't continue like bishop h3 here? Which was your plan? Um, I think that's also fine. But maybe here uh, she can go for c6, I think. So I just wanted to clarify the position first. Hmm. Yeah. So you took. She took with the knight. <clears throat> and knight d4. And the idea is f4. Yeah. To push the knight away, so she went c5. Now clearly, uh, Mary uh, Mary wants to fight back in this position, so she went uh, c5, and you took bishop takes. And now this is your kind of position, yeah. This is a weakness here, a weakness here. Um, did you did you consider taking here or? 
Uh, yeah, like I was thinking about it, but I don't think it's needed because even the knight is very strong. And if we see, like the bishop is not doing much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you went queen d2, bishop mm -hmm. b7, knight went to b5, attacking d6. And she's already losing that pawn. Mm, yeah. So rook c d8. And now, um, okay, what if you take here? Um, okay, I think rook d7. Mm. And then Maybe the threat F4 is now. rook d8. Yeah, now f4. Yeah, f4, knight, knight c4. But like I thought that why to take, uh, like it's not needed because that was very uh, like clear cut by playing first f4 you, and then taking on d6. First you played f4, she went here, uh -huh. h3. Then h3. Oh man, you pushed the knight back, now took here and now e5 is also coming if, yeah. if needed. Rook d7, e5, bishop g2, queen g2. I mean, you just won without a fight, yeah, this game. Uh, yeah, kind of. It was a very smooth, smooth game. Hmm. Rook d8, rook c1, knight to f5, you took, took. But, you know, uh, so many games have been drawn or lost from winning positions. So, uh, what, what did you say yourself, say to yourself right now? Yeah, like here, no, like knight f5 is at least, like, I, I think I shouldn't have played rook c1. Like, rook c1 is not so good. Mm. I should have played something like g4. I shouldn't allow that knight. But then I thought that the pawns are getting doubled and anyways, it should be advantageous. Mm. But uh, from here only, I should go g4 directly, like before that. Here, g4, yeah. just limiting yeah. this knight. Yeah, I thought about that. But then, uh, like, one thought came that why to, you know, like, push the kings, uh, push the pawns in front of my king, like, Sometimes it may be vulnerable also. Mm -hmm. So I just played rook c1 to get out of that pin. Yeah. She went here. Knight takes. Pawn takes. Rook c2. H5. Rook e2. What was your uh, plan here? Maybe push with e6? Yeah. I want to uh, play e6 because like... Uh, she already has a lot of weaknesses, f5, h5 and all. But mm. uh, once I open the position, the king is also, uh, obviously it is all uh, already weak, but even it gets more weakened and my rook should come into the game. So that's why I want to play e6 here. So she stopped it. She stopped. Yeah. You went queen f3, attacking h5. She went mm. rook d3. Of course, you are not going to indulge in this take, take stuff. So you played rook e3. She took, you took with the rook, rook d2. Mm. Now, can you snatch that pawn on h5? Um, it may be, but you know, like queen d5, it's actually risky because or now my king queen, is very much in. Yeah, queen d5 or even queen c6. Yeah, with c1. The threat. Mm. So this was again yeah. a very calm move, rook d3, offering a queen mm -hmm. trade and the main uh, rook trade. And if she doesn't take it, then you can take here and start to enter on d8. Yeah, like uh, similar happened. Like I entered on d8. Ah, you yeah, checked. King g7. And now maybe people can think. Okay, guys. Try to think here. What is the best move for white? And when you have found, unpause the video. Okay, so Sakshi, my first thought is why not just snatch this pawn? Yeah, I think... Um, one minute. Check. Rook A1, Rook A2. That ah, yeah, way. Rook A1 check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rook A1 check. King F2, Rook A2, King E1. Oops, sorry. What was it? King E1. Rook A1, King D2. Yeah, the thing is that uh, after, I after I come on C file, she, uh, she has Queen C6 check. Oh, yeah. So, like, check. And if yeah. you go here or here. Oops, sorry. If you go King c3 or c1 she will go queen c6 and then queen c2 mm. yeah so that's the reason why you went queen a8 mm. and your point is that after check here oh that's the that's the reason you went to a8 wow so mm. if check here check here check here and you're winning nice yeah <laughs> so she had to play f6 and then you gave a check King here, 
rook d6 check king d2 and king c3 when she had no more checks left and you were taking on f6 and she was going to get checkmated wow yeah so, like when uh, like before this no uh, the position i had calculated i had calculated king c1 hmm. but okay after it came on board king c3 was way easier like i thought king c1 rook a1 king b2 ah rook b1 maybe yeah b1 yeah hmm. but then that also i have hiding place on h2 and the queen is coming in between so ah then if, oh this would have been nice yeah go here then go back and then try this but yeah. okay what you played was way easier and that was a very smooth win uh, so what what's next for you sakshi what are you playing next uh, i am planning to play delhi and ahmedabad oh okay. in wow that would be great and there we will be hoping that you cross the 2300 mark uh, as you said you are also studying you are in the final year uh, what's your plans like are you going to pursue chess uh, rigorously are you going to balance between something else yeah like i want to of course do chess most of the time but i am also thinking that i'll uh, go for mba like uh, the only reason is that i like it that's why like i like to study <laughs> Right. you like to study yeah and you are also a little worried that uh, in chess it's a little difficult to make a career or that is not uh... oh, no 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 nothing like that like i just like it that's why as a side i just want to do it so so that is on the side but chess will be your main focus yeah yeah of course fantastic that is that is great to know and uh, do you uh, you know your uh, any people apart from your dad who has helped you would you like to thank for this wonderful performance that you made like who who uh, would yeah, you like credit i said i uh, i think like my mom dad and my brother also like he also used to play chess before but okay, okay now uh, yeah he had some other interest that time so yeah Mm, okay fantastic uh, well sakshi it yeah. was a pleasure talking to you and going over your game also a lot more people you know i i got this uh, a lot of messages saying that you know sakshi has played so well we went through her games and we enjoyed them so much so uh, you know they wanted to see you they wanted to check uh, your interview so thank you so much for sparing time it was very nice talking to you thank you it was my pleasure Thank you so much.